Hey, VOD people. Uh, so I attempted to speedrun Cage 1. It didn't go great. Uh, we, we played up to Monstro. I threw it out. I miss, missed the latch and Wonderland. You know, bad, bad stuff all around. Uh, a lot of red splits. Um, what else? Uh, that's really all I did. Uh, <laughs> we did trivia before that, so we're just filling the rest of our time tonight with this old person tier list um, made by the chat during a speedrun, actually. Uh, Char Underwood, and this is Buffoon's uh, tier list. Um, so, we're playing the Cuphead OST, by the way, because they're old. So we got a lot of oldies, a lot of geezers. Um, yeah, so that's, I was gonna open that up to the floor here, Vodka. What is the criteria? Looks? Money? Person? So wait, wait, wait. When you say money, do you mean, like, rank them by how, how wealthy we think they are? Why would that be the metric by which we rank anything, really? Um, I think looks or personality would be more apt. I mean, what is this? Yeah, I guess that's my question. What is this? Is this, uh, old money? <laughs> um, the Gatsby? Oh, true, true, true. Um, the money makes them hotter? I think that makes someone less hot if they're rich. Yeah, Scrooge will be S tier. Like, if we're trying to, like, determine the, the financial situation of the oldies, then I think that'd be an easy number one. I don't think we're gonna do hotness. <laughs> I mean, that could factor in, right? By oldness? Uh, well, then you'd have, like, Zeus and Hades at the top, you know? Santa. What is this question? Um, oh, I don't know. I was just sent this one most recently by Buffoon. Um, if you have more on yours, I don't know. I didn't realize there were two. Um, I think Vexen's old in spirit, at least. Okay. Well, let's just, let's just go by vibe, okay? Let's just synthesize everything together. Except probably money, that makes no sense to me, <laughs> so... By old vibes? Okay. Let's just go by, like, how much we like them. I think that makes... Yeah, fuck the speedrun, we threw it out. Um, it was bad. It was a D-Rust, okay? Um, Ansem of the Wise is D-tier, right? Like... I, I, I think C-tier at the absolute highest. Should we run polls for these, or what? Carly, do you want to run polls, or are you... Are you capable of that at the moment, or Baka? Yeah, he is... But, like, he's making an effort, right? He, he's got a good voice. He's making an effort to do better. Um, Ansem has money? Yeah, I mean, he's the king of a world. Um, yeah, I think just uh, a poll for each tier. Also, should we rename the, the tiers, by the way? Um, this should be called Werther's tier. Right? Um, this will be absolutely old. This will be... Barely, barely living. This will be a uh, coffin dodger, and this will be uh, dead, basically. Okay. Um, life alert tier. <laughs> uh, barely hanging on. <laughs> um, are we good with Ansem and D tier though? I think that's kind of that goes without really. All right, but Carly's got the poll, so vote now if you think he should be higher. I think it's a, a ceiling of C. C for ceiling for Ansem, but you know there's a lot of a lot of bad and very little good on Ansem's track record. I do come back to the hot take tournament where we had this whole uh, I think it was Ansem the wise ain't that bad was how we phrased the uh, the take where it's like we're we're much more forgiving of of younger people who make mistakes in the series, um, which you should be because they're they're young, uh, you know their brains aren't done cooking yet. This guy's like you know maybe pushing seventy. And, uh, doing some really fucked up things, so... Alright, we'll keep him in D. We can end that one. Okay. Let's do, uh, Mother Gothel. Uh, some people do want to do Mother Gothel, but, uh, in this state... I don't know if she's really, uh... Getting people's attention. <laughs> I think, uh, you find... I feel like Egg of Dog is, like, a big Mother Gothel, uh, Stan. So what do we, what do we think about Mother Gothel? Negative S? I don't think... I mean, I think she's at least B tier. She's a decent villain, right? Um, what's up, Ace? She can sing? Can she? Oh, I guess she can, yeah. Mother knows best. Not in KH, she doesn't. In KH, we don't know if she can sing. Um, a called her a gilf in the KH3 highlight. Yeah, that makes, that's, that really checks out. One of the uh, obvious, most obvious things. Um, it won't let you do 30 seconds? Um, that's okay. We can just end them prematurely. So, wow, a lot of votes for D. Yeah, vote now. Make sure you're uh, looking at the poll that's running so you can have a say in where these oldies go. I believe that would be a grandma I'd like to fornicate with, Barnabas. Wow, people are putting her in die tier? 
I was I was thinking at least B. Um, I mean we don't we don't like her as a person, but I feel like as a villain, for Cage Three standards, like she has a good heartless boss, you know. Obviously, I'd prefer if we just fought her as, uh, you know, as herself. Well, I sort of embellished the uh, the acronym. Um, Kiwi's version of a pre-eating girlfriend. That's true. The gilf. <laughs> that's not true. That's with an R. All right, I'll put her in coffin dodger here. That's what the chat wanted. Okay, we have Lady Tremaine. I mean, I hate this bitch. She sucks. Uh, she's very evil, but uh, in Kingdom Hearts, she's not even like doing that much. Um, I feel like uh, she's really only got scenes. I guess Aqua's story. She has the most um, like substantial moments. I think you just hear her in Venz, and you see her briefly in Terra's. So, I don't know. I'd put her in C tier as well, but I would have had uh, Gothel higher. There's something very wrong with her. Yeah. Lady Tremaine. I better pay her a visit. I mean, points for Aqua conspiring to murder her, I guess? Um, she gets killed by the pumpkin. D tier. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty solidly D tier. I'll put her there. Alright, I mean, the Emperor kicks ass, right? Um, the Mulan Emperor, whose palace was not destroyed in Cage 2, Gabaka 720. Um, just throwing that out there. Um, I think you gotta put him in at least B. Like, that's, I think that's the floor for the Emperor's B tier. Carly, I feel bad. I, I can run the polls if you're, this feels like a lot to do. Um, he's absolutely old. A tier, like he's not S tier. Like there's no, there's no way he has like enough going for him to be S. But okay, you're good. Um, I feel like, and I don't know, are we? We're only taking Cage stuff into account because in Mulan two, which is not a great movie, he's like uh, being a weirdo. I don't remember why why I was mad at him, but he was like he had really bad takes in Mulan two, which like, you know, I'm not expecting old Ben in ancient China to have the best takes. But, like, pretty dog shit takes. Um, that's not him. Okay. So we'll put him in 8th here. That seems decided upon. Okay, the Grand Counselor. Um, the Grand Council Woman, rather. Um, I mean, points for the only character having the word woman in their name, right? We gotta respect that. Girl power rules! <laughs> Pandering. Um, but also, she's a cop. You know? So it's like, what do you do with that? Do you even out? Does she go and be? Like, there is no character on this list who's more of a cop than the Grand Council woman. So it's like, what do we do? Who is the next most cop? Is it, like, Ericus? <laughs> is it... I don't even know. I think that's it. Santa? <laughs> is Santa a cop? <laughs> Does Santa have a thin blue line bumper sticker on his sled? Um, uh, We're putting her in A? Okay. I can respect that. I mean, she's the only reason why Stitch is not, you know, put in the electric chair. So, we have to also take that into account, and that's that's very generous of her. Maybe she's one of the good ones? I guess Gantu is a cop and she's a politician, but, like, are we really awarding her more points for that? Um, alright, the people want A. Um, I'll, I'll remember you when, when the revolution comes. Alright, we got our favorite boy. We got Vexen, a man of science. Just like Gavaka. Gavaka is, is a woman of science, and Vexen's a man of science. Um, so, I mean, I think, personally, Vexen, I think, at least belongs in C tier. Tomatoes, Vexen's not old. Okay, should we also, actually, as we go through, should we say what we think their ages are? Should we go back and, like, assign an age to everybody? I think Ansem the Wise is, like, 65. I think Lady Tremaine is... Um, I think she's like 62. Mother Gothel could be 200, I don't know. Um, I don't think Vexen's 43. I think he's like 51. Uh, the Emperor, I, the Emperor could be like 82. Grand Councilwoman could be 400. We have no idea. Vexen's giving late 40s, early 50s for me. Everyone's saying D tier for Vexen? I need to make it clear that this is not my, this is the chat's geezer list. Um, if I had, like, a guest, we would just abandon the chat and let them break ties, <laughs> but uh, it's just me in the chat, so they've they've got me outnumbered. Um, Evan and Anson were totally kissing, should we put them together then? Or should we, should we make it painful for them and put Tremaine in the middle? Alright, the people, people say Vexen's D tier. I disagree, I think he's at least C, but... 
Um, Yen Sid. How do we feel about Yen Sid? I think Yen Sid is, uh, at least 70. Um, Yen Sid sits around a lot, but that moment in KH3 is really good. Um, when he, he shows up, you know, he parts the Red Sea. He talks very slowly, though. He has a great voice. Um... I like that we don't know what he uh, looks like when he's young. We don't know his Keyblade armor or any of that. I hope they keep that secret forever. I guess, yeah, if it's, if it's based on vibes, Vexen does have rancid vibes. Um, dude didn't make Sora master a D tier. Yeah, there's that. He's got that mark against him. Um, the mark of Assery, we can call it. It looks like uh, B is winning out here. It'd be our, our first B tier. Oh god, can we please just put Kevin Flynn in fucking D? Who cares? Um, yeah, Yensid just popped out of the womb with a beard. Alright, B tier for Yensid. I like that. I respect that. Pretty good, Arata. We're ranking the olds. Um, Kevin Flynn. Can we just put him in D? Can we please just get rid of him? Who cares? Remember when Sam Flynn said uh, that's a hell of a way to live to him in both the movie and the game? Got Baka 720? Do you remember that? Um, I, I, listen, there's nothing against Jeff Bridges, but, you know, if we're going by voice actors, like... I'd put, uh, you know, got Suzanne Blakesley as Lady Tremaine, you got Christopher Lee as Ansem the Wise, like, great stuff. But, got bad vibes. Kevin Flynn's okay in the movie. He's awful in Dream Drop, so I think, uh, I think C is the absolute highest. Um, I think I'll make the executive decision. Just put him in here. Or we'll, <laughs> we'll let the poll go, but... I think I think it just speaks for itself. He sucks. Let me change the title of my stream while I uh while we vote here. Plus old KH people tier list. S tier to spite me, just for that, he's for sure going in D. Alright, I love Gibbs. I don't know why. Gibbs is like the minor character in the entire series that I'm like, that's my fucking dude right there. He's 100% Werther's tier. This is Josh Emmy Gibbs. Also, Kevin Flynn, are we, I'm thinking like, Kevin Flynn could be like, early 50s as well. Um, I love Gibbs. Yeah, he's like a better Smee, to be honest. Um, he's Jack's right-hand man, the first mate. Um, he's only in three. He's the only person from the Pirates franchise to come over and voice his character for KH3. So I respect that. That's, uh, uh, Kevin McNally. That's him. Um, yeah, and he's a feminist as well. So I'm glad we can all agree that Gibbs is Werther's tier. Really excited. And he's hot. He's smoking hot. Um, all right. We got Frollo, which we were talking cops earlier. I guess Frollo is kind of a cop, isn't he? He's uh, a big religious fundamentalist. He's literally persecuting minority groups, so we, we should probably just not even run the poll. Like, as a villain, he's very intimidating. <laughs> but if we're going off of vibes, really bad vibes from Frollo. He's a cop of the church, <laughs> yeah. He's a church cop. Um, so, yeah, if we're going on vibes, he's not great. <laughs> but as a villain, like, he is very, very fucked up. Um, okay, we'll just put him in D tier. I'm not gonna order them. Frollo, I also think, is... He's actually probably early 60s. He's probably like 63. Um, how do we feel about Zeus? God of gods. The ruler of the uh, Mount Olympus. Um, I have a cat named... I had a cat named Zeus. Uh, my favorite pet of all time. So I'm feeling Werther's are absolutely old here. Um, he does have a bothersome nipple. That's true. He is a motherfucker. He's also a himbo, probably a feminist, although not in the Greek mythology, he's not. Maybe in Kingdom Hearts, but uh, I think uh, I think Zeus has to be at least A tier. Um, maybe, maybe he's not doing enough for S. I mean, he's doing more than Gibbs, right? He defeats the Titans with the lightning bolt at the end, although we kind of have to bail him out. Am I going to get snagged on the King Dice song? I really don't know. I feel like I could, but I could get snagged on all of this. Um, alright, I can respect A tier for Zeus. I'm putting him above these other two, though. Alright, I love Zigbar. Zigbar is one of my favorite org members. Um, he's probably not that old. Is he the only... Oh, we have, uh, Vexen and him in the original org. 
Um, I would put Zigbar in Werther's tier. I know Bioroxus wouldn't, but this is my stream. I think Zigbar's great. I think he's like third for me after Axel and Demix. And even then, like, here's the thing about Zigbar. Axel has like a bad showing in Dream Drop, I think. I think he's dog shit in Dream Drop, but Zigbar is always good. Zigbar is great in two, he's great in Dream Drop, and he's great in three and in days. And he's going to be great moving forward. You know, I have so much faith in him as a character. Um, so yeah, okay. What We're going to put him above question? Gibbs. Um, how long will it take you to successfully troll me? Uh, 500 years! The same amount of time that the Grand Councilwoman has been alive. Okay, Ericus. I think it's got to be C or D for Ericus. I think also Zigbar looks older than he is. He's actually like late 40s. Even though we said, like, I think we said to be considered old, you have to be, like, at least 60 or 65 on this. Um, there's definitely under 60 people here, but... Um, Ericus, I think... I just can't... I can't put him above C. And I can see a case for D. He tried to kill two of his sons, you know? And there's reasons for it, or whatever. Wow, B is winning, though. People are, are going hard on B. Um, okay. Like, everyone's voting for B. Um, I just think, like, he's so blinded by his own biases towards the light. Um, he's very much not a great person, but he is hot, and I'll say it. Fair. Alright, well, B's winning, so I'm putting him beneath the unsaid, though. Um, that's easy. Kyrie's grandma, she's a queen. She's a queen. Not only does she tell great stories, and probably also legitimately had a, a little ceramic dish of Werther's in the in the Hall of Asha library. You just couldn't see because it, it was it was too uh, uh it was too advanced for KH1 for the textures. But like every time we see a new female character in the series, we're like, oh, that's Kyrie's grandma. Like her her legacy. We're ranking the old people. <laughs> I think you gotta put Kyrie's grandma in S tier. Um you're not allowed to take candy inside of the library. It's Kyrie's grandma's library. She's a cool grandma. I think, uh, I think she'd totally allow it. Alright, it's, it's an uh, overwhelming S tier for Kyrie's grandma. Um, okay, we got fan game character Odin, Master Odin, um, from Dark Road. Also, Kyrie's grandma is, uh, 74. Oh yeah, music is probably a little too loud now. This is a louder song. Um, I don't know, I feel pretty mid on Odin. All the students died... Um, not great. That's not great for, uh, your, your job prospects in the future. Like, I don't know what he does after Dark Road. I think he retires, but hopefully he's not, like, substitute teaching because he's got a bad track record. I feel mid on him, so I'd put him in C. Like, yeah, all of his students died, but it wasn't really his fault. Like, uh, he should have protected them better, I guess. Although, I guess he kind of killed the one of them, but he kind of had to. Uh, Balder, he was sort of nuts. I don't know. I feel C or D. Alright, chat says C. We'll put him there. Um, Merlin... Merlin rocks, right? And I think Merlin fucks. Um, I just get the impression that he does. Yeah, kinda. Like, it was bolder, but he was, like, possessed by, like, a primordial darkness thing. So, like, he kinda had to. Um, it's complicated. Uh, hopefully Damo's making that Dark Road movie now, so... We'll watch that and get caught up. Um, Merlin fucks Nasty, yeah. Nasty Norik? New ship? I think Merlin's at least A tier, potentially S. Um, he's really helpful. He, uh, lets you beat the shit out of his furniture. He gives you Spellbinder. He gives you Donald and Goofy weapons. Um, he gives you the book, The Joy of the Hundred Acre Wood. A lovely little diversion. Um, he loves tea. He's also a feminist. <laughs> We're just determining which ones. The social policies of uh, each of them. Yeah, we'll put Merlin in S. I'll put him right here. Um, Alright, let's rank all of the uh, the three good fairies. Um, we got... Uh, blue is Merryweather. Flora is red. Fauna is green. Much to my chagrin. Um, they're pretty good, right? I don't think they're... They're not S tier. I'm thinking A or B. I think we're going to rank them all together, right? Unless anyone has any... Any... Uh, words to say about why one should be higher than the other. I think so. I think they're lesbians. Um, are they lesbians together? Are they a thruple? Or are they just uh, doing their own thing? 
Fauna's the worst. Uh, the blue one's the best. I, you know what? The blue one's the best because I don't get her mixed up with the other two. They're spinster fairies. <laughs> the lesbian thrumple. <laughs> That's fun. Um, wait, they're sisters? Never mind. Never mind. Take, take it back. I've seen I've seen Sleeping Beauty once. Never mind. Um, yeah, no, I think uh, I'm feeling B tier on the, the three good fairies. Um, I feel like if they if they didn't argue, they could get a lot more done in terms of the the fashion. Um, they could be making so many more sick duds if they weren't arguing over what color they should be. But when they work together, when they put their minds together, they're they're really good. They're uh, they're up there. Um, designer clothing. Uh, they gave Sora an, uh, I guess his outfit's pretty good in too. A little too much, uh, too much uh, baggy pockets and zippers. I feel like that just looks like it's weighing him down. Um, they are responsible for both Cage 2 and Cage 3 Sora design. Um, it's pretty close between A and B, so we'll leave this open. Um, yeah, they made the Cage 3 outfits, but off screen. It's possible they, they spent the entire time between 2 and 3 making the next outfit because they're always squabbling. Um, Alright, we'll go for B, and we're going to put Meriwether uh, number 1. We're going to put them in this order. I like red better than green. <laughs> that's that's my, uh, my justification. Okay, Hades. Ignoring that he's James Woods, and we know Hades is not a feminist. Just from the movie, even. You know, you got, you got the whole Meg situation. Um, but Hades is fun, right? Hades is fun. Um, he's a used car salesman. He sings in KH3. I like, he's got bars. Um, we gotta ignore the voice actor thing. I don't think that's fair. I put the fairies in A? My bad. You're absolutely right. I absolutely put them in absolutely old. Alright, the Mysterious Tower crew is in it here. In A, or a B tier. Um, true. Okay, yeah. Yeah, in the game, he is a little pervy. Uh, with Aqua. But people are putting him in S. <laughs> There's four votes on S for him. I would probably go A or B for, for Hades. Um, I wouldn't want to hang out with him, but he, like, he's good TV, you know? If we're going team TV, then I think you gotta give Hades some points. Well, now he's dropped down to B. B is winning. A and, or S and B are tied, so... Oh, a, S, and B. Sonic Adventure Battle. Um, we need more S. We need more S, A, or B, and we're in a three-way tie, so I guess I'll break it. I'll put him in A tier. He's a good villain. He's a mainstay. Um, put him right there, right next to his brother, but one spot below, just to spite him. Fairy Godmother, um, we gotta be A or S, right? I feel like we're only picking between one of those two. I think she's so powerful, her mind, I mean, going to the final world at a whim, just just because she can. I, can Yen Sid do that? Can Merlin do that? I don't think they can. I think she's got a specific thing where that's her That's her ability. She's just able to do that shit. Um, she rescues Cinderella from the depths of depression. Like, that's, that's pretty fancy. <laughs> that's also a superpower. Um, Merlin is her male wife. <laughs> Alright, easy S tier. We'll put her up here. Um... So Genie, yeah, Genie does not like present as old, but we know that he is. Like we know he's potentially thousands and thousands of years old. He's at least two hundred, right? Because he remembers hearing about the Keyblade um, in Cage One or the Keyhole, right? Yeah, the Keyhole. Um, so I think Genie's fun. I think he's at least B tier at the lowest, but I I could see A, B, or C. Oh, sorry, S, A, or B. Um, although he is a centrist, but that's only in my lore. This is not the regular Pat Lore Genie. He's not Homer Genie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, for the Homer Genie impression. All right, chat says S tier for Genie. We'll put him in here. The Old Hag. This is the evil queen from Dwarf Woodlands in old hag form. I have to say, I, I respect the, the commitment to the bit, right? Like, she is so stereotypically old with the hunch and the, the white long hair and just like the, the cackle. Um, not great vibes, but, like, she's committed to the bit. Too much theater kid energy? Is that Genie or the old hag? <laughs> she's such a fucked up little creature. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to hang out with her. I don't even want to look at her. But, like, she is so marvelously fucked up. Um, chat saying D. I would say C tier, personally. I guess I'll just put my vote on these from now on. I'm voting. 
she's mean to Ven. That is that is good. Maybe I should have put Ericus higher because Ericus tried to kill Ven. That's very mean. The old hag is what my little guy looked like. Yeah, actually, they did show me a picture of my gallbladder, and it was the witch. My gallbladder had a little basket of poison apples, poison gallstones. <laughs> She's racist? <laughs> the old hag is racist? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but do we have receipts on that? Um, she does spread terror misinformation. Yeah, actually, I take it back. I'm glad we're putting her in D tier. Fuck her. Um, again, I'm not really ordering them too consciously. All right, Davy Jones. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty mid on Davy Jones. I feel like B or C tier for Davy. Um, he's got a fun little accent. That's cute. <laughs> um, but like, yeah, I don't know. He's just not giving a ton. He's uh, he's one of the few Disney boss fights in KH three. That's neat. It is funny when Sword punches him. Yeah, A for accent. I, I can get on with that. That's that's fine. Um, he had like the, the uh, Counting Crows song, Davy Jones and Me. That's always a good time. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's got an interesting beard. Um, the whale, what does that whale know about the heart? <laughs> He's always got the stank on the end of his vowels. He's good at sustaining punches from teenagers. I guess that's impressive. Yeah. Um, all right, A tier for Davey. I like it. I'll put him right here. Uh, Mr. Smee. Um, we like Mr. Smee, don't we? No, you're good. I, I will do the polls, Carly. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your bravery. No problem. Alright, so Smee. S, A, B, C, or D. I'll switch it to... Oh, I also can't make it 30 seconds, Carly. That's weird. Maybe they have to run for... Oh, wait. Carly's already doing the Smee tier. Or poll. Um, yeah. So here's the thing. And can I just ask this? Smee is dating Captain Hook, right? Like, that's... I feel even stupid for proposing it. Can we just confirm that that's what's happening, or... Um, also, wait. Smee is part of one of the funniest moments in Birth by Sleep. When Peter Pan is... I don't know what Peter Pan is doing to Mr. Smee, but... It's very funny. Whatever's happening. Um, they're fucking for sure? Okay, I thought so. I thought so. Uh, taking first mate to a whole new level, you know? Ho-ho! That's like a David Letterman, like, fixing the tie, licking the teeth kind of joke. Um, is that healthy though? Yeah, I guess it's like maybe a toxic workplace environment. I mean, Captain Hook kills his staff, so I guess that's your way to like get in good with him. Like, I'm not saying it's it's a good thing, but it's smart on Smee's part to uh, to survive. Um, I guess we'll say S tier? Okay. I would have put him in like A, but he's I don't like him more than Gibbs. I like Gibbs more, so... Um, Alright, we got Maurice. Crazy old Maurice. Um, he's eating cross, so... Uh, I don't know. He's kind of fun, right? Um, he's Bell's dad. He is. He's only in Union Cross. Um, I don't really remember what he does in Union Cross. Get him out of here. I don't know. I feel like C tier. He probably is. is he though? Like, I, was he? I don't really remember his relationship with Bell. Like, I know it was a, a loving relationship. Like, they loved each other. But was Maurice like? I haven't seen Beauty and the Beast in forever. Was he like supportive of Bell reading books, <laughs> or was he like that's silly? He shouldn't do that. Um. Oh wait, I have to run the poll. Sorry, I forgot. All right, Maurice S A B C D. There you go. He's free WHM. He supported Bell. Okay. So B tier? B for Bell? I don't know. Like, he's not given a ton. I need more from Maurice. Alright, looks like chat is pretty overwhelmingly B tier. Although he has votes in every tier, actually. <laughs> he was in here raving. <laughs> in the gritty. <laughs> Alright, B tier for Maurice. Um, Rafiki. I kind of love Rafiki. Um, he knows the prophecies, like, the winds and, and the fruit speak to him, and that's awesome. Um, and he also fucks, yeah. He's wise, he's not like an old, cantankerous old guy. Um, in monkey years, he's probably like, what? He's a mandrill, right? How? I'm gonna look up the life expectancy of a mandrill. 
Although he has the word man in his name, so is he a feminist? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, 20 years for mandrills in the wild, and up to 40 in managed care, uh, care settings like zoos. Um, female mandrills mature between 4 and 7 years, and males at about 9. How about that? Although females choose mates with the brightest colors on face and rump. Sorry, I get to run the Rafiki poll. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry, Carly's picking up the slack for me. Ba -da -bam. Um, you can't put a person named Rafiki outside of S. Yeah. Um, yeah, can we get the rump status on Rafiki? Like, is Rafiki undateable because of a dull rump? Um, I guess once you get old, your dump does, uh, your dump, I was gonna say your dump rolls. Your rump dolls. <laughs> but, sorry, I, I, had to, I had to know about Rafiki's life expectancy. Alright, so S tier for Rafiki. Good, good, I'm glad. Alright, Scrooge McDuck. Here's the thing about Scrooge. He'll be the last one that we get. Right? Like, we're gonna get him, but we'll save him for last. Because I think he's, like, he is, he's not, he's doing good for the town, right? He's, he's making it the movie theater, and he's got a great restaurant. But, like, he has an inordinate amount of wealth that he doesn't need. Um, so, if we're gonna pick one multi-millionaire capitalist duck, it's gonna be Scrooge. You know, we'll eat him last. But, like, it is for his own, uh, you know, personal gain that he does not need. Um, Donald does an SMH my head once he hears about Scrooge's new schemes in KH3. But everyone's saying S tier. I would put him in A, personally. But I think he needs to donate a little bit more. And I want to see his tax returns, also. Um, but the chat is very much in support of S tier, so I, I get that. But I'm putting him at the bottom, because I, I think he should be... He should be taxed more heavily, and I also want him to release his tax returns. Okay. Geppetto. Um, C tier. <laughs> that's, that's my take on Geppetto. Uh, he loves his little wooden boy. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it was a Spike Getty stream. You know, Bio would have put Zigbar in D tier. I think the Spike Gettys would probably put Geppetto in D tier. He's weird and off-putting. Be boring to hang out with. He's a sexist. Uh, what pose is he doing? Um, he's That's the, uh, where are my bitches pose. So, oh my god. <laughs> that is, that sure is a spelling of a Geppetto, Carly. <laughs> well done. Yeah, okay. Everyone seems to say Z tier for Geppetto. That's fine by me. All right, I don't fuck with Owl, TBH. I, I really don't. I think he's, he's a know-it-all. Um, I do love when he so like he explains every mini game in KH1 and Hundred Acre Wood, but then when it's time to do the uh, the bouncing game at the bouncing spot, he like flaps on down and Rue's like, "Bro, you don't know shit about this. You're an archer, so fuck off." And he's like, "Oh, I suppose you're right," and he flies away. So yeah, big well actually energy. Um, actually, uh, yeah, giving hall monitor for sure. Giving a uh, teacher you forgot to give us homework. Um, I do love his song, though, in the, uh, Christopher Robin, uh, movie, The Search for Christopher Robin. Um, Adventure is a wonderful thing. I do love that. It's a bop. He's a Redditor. <laughs> he has boring stories about his uncle that no one wants to hear. Like, not everything is a story, Owl. You having an uncle is not a story. So I'm saying C or D. Um, is he in three? No, he's not. He's only in one and two. Is he voiced in two? He is. He's not voiced in one, but he is in two. Um, ooh, but he does have rare nuts. I do love the rare nuts side quest. It's so good in the bouncing spot. We love the bouncing spot. Um, <laughs> one person, Ace, voted S for shits and giggles. One voice line, that's it, in two? That's nuts. Wow. Alright, but everyone said D tier for Owl, so... He's not even the angriest one. Um, we'll put him above the genocide man, and Kevin Flynn, and the old hag. We'll put him right there. Um, Maleficent. <clears throat> I want to respect her. I want to. If this was Cage 1 Maleficent, she'd be S tier. I think she breaks even at a B. She's so goofy. She's corny. Guys, I'm sorry. She's just like... She's a clown, yeah. She's a clown. Like, I used to respect her a ton for like the first couple of hours of Cage 1. She might be on Fraud Watch. <laughs> Can I respect her more than Nomura does? I don't know. She, yeah, she says the words Santa Heartless. 
She thinks she thinks the date escape is called the date escape, you know. Yeah, she's like unfunny Team Rocket, you know. Back to theater kid energy. <laughs> yeah, she's making like some really bad acting TikToks. A tier for Maleficent. I'm voting B. I'm gonna let the chat finish out the poll here, but Maleficent A. I don't know. We'll see. I have hope for her for four. I think they'll finally give her some stuff to do. Like, she took three off. Let's not be mistaken on this. Alright, people are on my side now. B for bad bitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, B's still good. It's fine. She had some moments, you know? She found the box, sort of, at the end. I mean, she, she really didn't find it. She saw other people find it. Um, Alright. Right there. Mrs. Potts. Carly, don't even run the poll. We're good, right? I don't know how to explain it to you. We get it. We know it. S tier. Although, the mini game, the little side quest, not side quest, it's mandatory. The little guide Mrs. Potts to the thing, that's not great. But it's not really her fault. So we are ranking by hotness. <laughs> um, it's really Cogsworth for having shitty grip. Um, if Cogsworth could just hang on to the thing a little longer, it wouldn't be such a big deal. Mrs. Potts does get confused by the crates, but I think we can just, yeah, it's a unanimous S tier for Mrs. Potts. The one slight she has is the uh, escort thing in the in the basement, but. All right, how are we feeling about Santa? Santa's at least A tier, right? Um, he's not my favorite depiction of Santa in fiction, but he's a pretty good one, I think. Like, I think he's, he really pulls off the, like, I don't have time for this shit, like, Christmas is a huge fucking deal, and I don't have time for, like, Jack Skellington bullshit. Um, so I like that from Santa. Um, he's not, like, rude. Like, he's like, listen, you need to relax. <laughs> like, Jack Skellington shows up in Christmas Town. he's like, I get it, I, I, I appreciate the fandom, but you gotta calm down, alright? Because everyone's looking. All of the elves are looking right now, and that's fucking up my timetable. Um, so I think A or S for Santa. Like, he spreads C tier for Santa?! What the fuck is wrong with you people? C tier? He, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but he brings joy to all of the children of every world. Like, knows about Sora and Riku, so is traveling to other worlds. He's an interdimensional traveler in Kingdom Hearts. I'm actually not going to listen to the results of C tier for Santa. This is ridiculous. C tier for Santa? C tier? Yeah, and let us go through the other doors. That's not Santa's fault, that's an unrelated tangent. Um... No, yeah, I mean, I'll break even with you and put him in B, but C tier? Here's the thing, I think this is a secular Santa, because do you really think Sora and Riku participate in Christianity? I don't, and Santa still came to my house, right? So, like, what the fuck? I don't know why you guys have such beef. Santa's, Santa fucking rules! C tier is bullshit! Thank you, Shiverburn! We're putting him in B, and we're putting him at the top of B! Sorry, that's my one overruled for the for the the uh, tier list. Yeah, he he does belong in A, but I'm at least trying to maintain some uh, democracy. I do have a Christmas bias, but like even without that, can we just objectively look at the facts here? This man works year round, okay, and he 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 commands respect. He doesn't put up with bullshit, and he delivers presents across the dimensions. The finger wiggle and everything. <laughs> For all we know, Sora and Riku were Jewish too, and they still get presents. This is a secular Santa, I'm telling you. I'm telling- I've seen better Santas too, but not in Kingdom Hearts. Not in Kingdom Hearts, there's only one, and it's him. The other 364 days, he's working on toys. There's a lot of fucking kids to keep track of. You gotta make the list. He's checking the list. <sighs> Alright, I've never felt so offended by the chat. Um, okay. King Triton is D tier to me. I hate this guy. This old fuck. He's so stupid. Every time he appears in anything, he's a dumb idiot. Um, he makes PlayStation 5s. Thank you, Teal Opal. Thank you. <laughs> Jewish Riku. It's canon. They're either every religion or none of them, I think. I think probably all of them. I think he does give us Ariel. That's true. Ariel! Quit fucking around with random crystals. Um, all right. He is kind of hot. I'll give him that. He's fucking ripped. But he's a dumb doof. Like, he's such an idiot. We have two votes in S, two in C, two in D. I'm voting for D. Um, he does get the, the most 
killer fucking introduction in A New Day is Dawning when Ariel hits him with the, the seven-syllable daddy. That's great. People are giving him points for being hot. Like, he should be D-tier. He's a bad dad. Um, but we're, we're raising him up to C because he has a six-pack, so whatever. I don't know. You guys lost me with the Santa thing, so bottom of C. Uh, Xehanort? Listen, rancid vibes, but, like, I gotta respect the hustle, you know? Years and years. Decades of planning. Ruined some kids' lives or whatever. I guess I just, I really stumped for Santa, and Xehanort is kind of, like, the antithesis of Santa. Like, he brings ruin and destruction to the lives of many children. Not as many as, as good that Santa brings to kids. So, um, I don't know. I think you gotta put Xehanort at least B tier. Like, he is the guy. Yeah, like two, like two, right? Tear Aqua Ven. And really Aqua uh yeah, I know, that was that was his fault for sure, but Um I'm sick of him too, make no mistake. I don't want to see this guy anymore, but I respect what he did for the games. I think he's a great overarching villain. Um yeah, so I would say I would say A personally. Um on the on the old person spectrum of the tier list. Like as a character, I'd probably have him uh, probably the same, actually. Overall characters, I'd probably put him in A as well, but... He did kill Kairi, so I guess he, that's the, that's a fourth child. Uh, he literally killed a child. Um, but, like, he, he crystallized her, that's what Mickey says, so... Alright, we're tied from S and A, and we gotta vote for, for S at the end here, so S is pulling through, I think. Alright, S tier for Xehanort. Yeah, and she's fine. They're all fine now. Yeah, a little child murder as a treat. Yeah. All right, we got the dwarfs. I guess just these three, or is this meant to be all of them? Um, I'm assuming we're we're grouping all the dwarfs. So, pictured is Doc, Grumpy, and Sleepy, but we also have to consider Sneezy, Dopey, Happy, uh, and Bashful. Did I get them all? Okay, it's all of them. Um, C tier? I don't know. I, I'm not really passionate about them one way or the other. Um... Yeah, no, I got nothing. I don't really like how some of them are named after, like, physical conditions, and some are named after emotions, and then one is, I'm the smart one, but I'm called Doc. Like, I need a more consistent theme. Um, Coffin Dodger, yeah. Okay, seems like we're all pretty, pretty middling on them. I'll put them right here. Ursula, uh, S or A for Ursula, right? I think, uh... She's, uh, you know, quintessential KH villain. Um, shows up in Dream Drop just to fuck around. Just drops in as a treat. Um, sings the the only villain song that we get in KH, which is Ursula's Revenge. Um, if Triton gets hot points, Ursula does too. Yeah, but then th that would bump her up uh, above Werther's, you know? Because she's already S tier, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. to the Toasted Poopsies true true the cage 2 revival is really dumb but that's not her fault you know the powers of darkness brought her back i, I can't dock her for that um super worthers all right we'll put it up here um the sultan uh bad right a c or d for the sultan he's comic relief in the movie although actually i did feel really bad when iago force fed him the crackers in uh in the movie that made me sad as a child and even as an adult um, he's only in Union Cross in the game, so that's bad. Um, I'm not even sure if he's that funny in the game. I did the, uh, funniest games video, but I don't really remember many Sultan moments. He's a pushover, he's trying to marry off his daughter. Um, I mean, I guess he comes around at the end, at least. But only because, like, of a life-threatening situation where the kingdom was going to be destroyed and he was, like, enslaved. So, I don't know. I think he's probably more incompetent than malicious, so we'll put him right there. Um, does the Sultan have any lines in Union Cross that are not from the movie? That's um, probably unlikely. They're probably mostly ripped from the movie. You're probably wondering, who's this? This is Twyla. Twyla from Twilight Town. She had to close the shop because she is too old. It's the best piece of dialogue in Kingdom Hearts 2. She cannot run the shop anymore. She's too old. She knows, she knows the situation. She knows the deal. She gets it. And honestly, that's such a good reason to stop doing stuff. It's an old person tier list. She owns a cat. She's a cat lady. We love Twyla. 
Um, I'm putting her S tier. Uh, her cat's name is Chiro, by the way. The uh, lock-on tutorial cat in the uh, KH2 Twilight Town. I see people voting D and B. I need you to put some respect on Twyla's name. She is related to Travis. Travis is her son who lives in uh, Traverse Town. Um, yeah, I'm voting S. I'm putting my vote in there. Um, I'm still really fuming about the Santa thing, by the way. Like, bubbling rage beneath my skin right now. What? How am I too high on Twyla? She's a legend. She has a cat. She retires because she's too old. Um, I think she runs... Uh, she did run the ice cream store before she closed it. Maybe someone else runs it. Who runs the ice cream place? Like, where do they get the sea salt ice cream? I think it's her. The candy shop. There you go. Um, yeah, she's S tier. Thank you. Number one. <laughs> Not number one. She's, like, over here. Um, the Mad Hatter. Also Union Cross exclusive. Um, I don't know. I don't care. Don't care about the Mad Hatter. Um, I don't like his style. I don't appreciate his fashion choices. It's kind of silly. Like, he looks dumb. Like, he's got, like, this big dumb hat on. And I just think that's stupid. Um, I wish he would, like, grow up, you know? Um, the unbirthday thing, it gets a little infuriating after two seconds of it. Um, it's Wormheart. Thank you for the follow there. Yeah, I feel C-tier for the Mad Hatter. Um, he's such a package deal with the March Hare, so on his own. I guess in the 2010 movie, he's not really... Um, the Mad Hatter is, like, way more prominent for some reason. Alright, C tier for, for Mad Hatter. Um, Dr. Fink, not a feminist, but he's very funny. Like, his, like, screeches of discontent anytime his experiments go poorly, or he doesn't know where Sally is. Like, that's a chuckle. That's a bit of a guffaw from me. But, uh, also, like, created a being, and it's, like, his slave. That sucks. But, like, when he goes, Sally! I love that. That's very funny. Um, so, are we breaking even <laughs> on Dr. Fink? Votes are kind of spread out on Fink. Um, what else about Fink? He can scratch his own brain. That's really gnarly. Um, above Santa? I mean, not in my fucking book, he's not. Um, we got six votes for C, five for A. I don't really know where to go on this. I think I lean towards A for Fink. Um, he made a potion that made Oogie Boogie, like, want to kill himself or something. I don't really know what the potion did, but it was nuts. Um, he made the fake heart. That was kind of a bust. The experiment, kind of a cool thing in Cage 2. Um, I mean, it went against his wishes and tried to kill him, but, you know, that's, that's gonna happen. Um, alright, C tier for Fink. I'm fine with that. I'm not gonna really press the issue. We'll put him right here. Um, this is the player from Union Cross. Um, no, I mean, here's the thing. I don't care about player. The fact that its name is player, um, this could be a man or a woman. Um, I do, I like the hunch. I like the cane. Like, this is the most stereotypically old looking person on the tier list, right? So, like, points for that. Like, again, the bit. Kind of same thing as the witch. But, like fake mysterious figure yeah kind of like really riding the coattails of cloaked figures past lived two lifetimes true um although yeah if it is us are we s tier nah we fucking suck um <laughs> player goes beneath the all right and then the last one is this laverne the gargoyle from hunchback um probably the best of the gargoyles although one of them is the george costanza one. Oh, i can't i can't put her back into the lobby um Laverne the Gargoyle. How we feeling? I don't know. Oh yeah, Child of Destiny BS. That's a great reason for D tier. We hate that. Um, yeah, this is the second best Gargoyle because she keeps things together, you know? She is the calming force. She keeps the Gargoyles from Civil War. Um, that's respectable. This, um, this Gargoyle fucks nasty. <laughs> uh, what, what tier would the Twilight Town Hill Wife guy go in? A tier, at least, for the boldness of the statement. Um, I mean, the, the cojones on this guy for being like, uh... Yeah, me and my wife, we used to fuck up on that hill. Oh, wait, sorry, never mind. I shouldn't say that to random passersby. Uh, what are we, what are we thinking for Laverne? She's nothing without Shirley, if you ask me. B tier? Alright, I'd say bottom of B tier for Laverne, like... You know. 
it's it's uh, really kind of riding off the the high of the triple uh, lesbian fairy council. Um, I don't think it's the best trio of unimportant Disney characters in the series. So, all right, there you go. It's our old person tier list. Shout out to uh, Chara Underwood and Cartoon Buffoon for really uh, putting the list together during a couple of. It was like a few speedruns ago this came together. So, and uh, that almost got us to nine. So. Uh, sorry that I abandoned the speedrun early, but it was going so bad. Um, why though? Why not? Uh, yeah, and then we'll do a poll for how good <laughs> how good was the tier list. No, no, because it's S tier. We know that it's S tier. We know that we did not make any mistakes besides Santa, and uh, I think we we crushed it. So, um, yeah, there you go. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate. it. I had a ton of fun, even though I missed the latch in Wonderland. It happens. And shout out to Carly. Yeah, you know what? Round of applause. Aww. What's up, Carl, for running, like, all but two polls? <laughs> so, I said I'd run them, Aww. and uh, she ended up doing most of them. So, thank you, Carly. Um, what else? Thank you again for voting for me for the Million Dreams Award um, yesterday. I really appreciate that. Um, and we'll be back on Tuesday. We're going to be fighting uh, Data Shion, and hopefully, if that goes well, Data Masters Xehanort, and then Yazora after that. So I could see KH3 taking up Tuesday, Thursday, and then maybe we get into the KH1 Critical Mix mod on uh, on next week. And then um, we have to figure out a Saturday game, because this was like a, a makeup stream. I didn't have something planned for, for Sunday, so we'll have to think about what we're doing for our weekend game. But looking forward to all of that. You know where to find me. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Discord. And I'm on Patreon. A couple of new patrons just joined. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm working on the KH3 Compendium, um, it's coming along, a lot of footage I have to get still, actually no, I have most of the footage that I need, but it's gonna, it's gonna take a bit to put it together, but hopefully that comes out this month. Um, what else? I think that's it. Be back, uh, Tuesday at 6. I do not think I updated my outro, so I might do that as it is, uh, being shown here, but thank you all so much, I will see you Tuesday, be safe, be kind, be courteous, till then, take it easy, bye!